everybody, this is Melinda, and um, today I am going to be harvesting some of my beautiful mint here. It's my baby boy Dyson. He likes my garden just as much as I do. This is actually right by my back door, and I planted some mint here so that um, it can be kind of a deterrent to bugs. It really needs to be weeded. Sorry about all the grass. Um, I have some gorgeous mint, and it's going to be cut back. So that one, I can have some mint um, the rest of the year in the house. And two, so if you cut it back enough um, on a regular basis, then it will even grow more. So this is my, um, I believe this is my chocolate mint patch. And whenever you hit this with the lawnmower, it smells like, it almost, the air almost tastes like spearmint gum. It is so delicious. Um, so, what you do when you harvest your mint is you're going to go down, find the stem, and right where it starts to, um, you have uh, nodes. And so all these areas, if you just cut off this area, more growth will grow. So like here, last time I harvested in this area, I cut here then these two um, branches spread it out. So if I cut this one here, I would end up with these two leaves would turn out into a branch. All you have to do is cut right below above where two leaves are, and you'll see like right in here, you see those, those little leaflets in the middle? Those are where the branches are coming from. So I'm going to cut this back partially so I can get a whole bunch of mint. And I'll take you guys inside and we can um, dry okay, it. Okay, guys, here's my harvest. Um, not too bad. I just did a couple, it took a couple of seconds, cut these all up. One thing I want to show you guys um, with the mint is um, how easy it is to propagate it. Um, I'm just going to take, let me go rinse this and I'll be right back. Here's my salad spinner. You put the, the colander inside the white bowl or the corn bowl. Put this lid on top, press this down, and notice how all that water just comes off. I don't have to wait for it to completely stop and for time of video I'm just going to take it out. And that really wet lettuce, um, mint. Is now nice and dry. Okay. Take this and I'm going to do some propagation. And all you have to do is um, this is a good, nice leaf. It's a few inches long. There's lots of nodes on here. Um, I probably don't need this one because all I only want to leave is up here. And you want to leave like two nodes, two leaflets. Um, on your stem and you just hook your hand like this and you pop this down pull those leaves off and since I'm going to be drying these I figured this is a good time to do it and then you're going to take this your stem and you're going to put it in a jar of water just like that and I want to do several of them um, I'll be right back Okay, so I have a bunch of stems here. I want to try to make sure that they're all about the same length. Um, just so that I can make it a little easier to get them into the graph, into the jar and keep the water up on them. I'm going to take these guys, stick them in here, and let it focus on making roots. Um, set this in the in the in the kitchen window. Um, in a couple weeks, I should see some roots on there. Um, and I just make sure that I continue my beautiful mint plant into the next year. One thing you want to make sure is when you put the water in here, that you don't have any leaves actually down into the water. It's just stems. And those stems um, change out the water every couple of days or so, 
and you should end up with some roots on there and then I'm going to put these um, around my trees and also have some make sure that I have cement for next year Okay guys, here is my brand new dehydrator my husband got for me. It's a Chef Min 5 tray round food dehydrator. Um, so we're going to pull this out and um, one thing I will say, first thing my brain saw when I saw this thing is it's kind of cute and little. I don't know if I really want something too little, but at least it stores away well. And uh, if you're not doing a whole lot of dehydrating, it would be good. Um, like for a little small garden with um, some herbs and stuff like that. So I'll probably use this one for herbs. Um, one other thing I was not too impressed on with this one is that it doesn't have a thermostat. So it's just an on off button. But it seems to be pretty awesome. Um, it's got five good trays and when I was reading through the book I found out that you can expand it so you can have higher by just twisting it. There's like these little ridges and little holes right in here and so if you line them up the lines together on the side they they are flat and you have if you just twist it just a little bit, you get more airflow and more space. So it can be this tall or it can be that low. So that's a good thing. Um, let me rinse these off so that they're clean. I like to clean everything when I first start using something. Uh, these are BPPA free. Um, so. It's a good quality plastic. We'll see if it works, let's find out. Okay guys, I'm back. I rinsed them off, I put one tray down. Um, it looks like it doesn't matter which tray goes on the bottom, so that's good. And what I'm going to do is just to, if I see any leaves I don't like, since I have so much, I'm just going to take them off and just lay stuff on. Oh, that's so pretty. And you just spread it out. You don't want your mint too tight. You want to be able to have lots of airflow. You don't want to lay things on top of each other like that. You don't want to just go like this and be say I'm done. So I'm going to take my time, lay them out. Little overlappage is okay, but you don't want to, you still want it to be airflow. Um, that's one of the reasons I kind of wish this was a little bit bigger so that I could get more leaves in here. Um, I might want to take off some more stems later. We'll see. This is our first try. Stems take longer to dry. Um, once you fill that tray, you put another tray. I'm going to go ahead and go up. Like I said, I like airflow and they're kind of high. That is the easiest way generally to de-stem something is just to grab it from the top like this and then just pull it down. As uh, the oils inside of mint um, are amazing. Uh, mint can be a deterrent for bugs uh, and make a bug spray with that and some centronella and maybe some lemongrass. Um, it is soothing for your stomach. Um, one thing that they have done scientific studies and found out that peppermint, what it does is it's like a relaxant. So um, it will relax your muscles in your stomach to, and make them feel better. Um, one thing you need to know is that it's very invasive. If you notice whenever I was propagating how easy those um, roots will grow. Um, so it will spread. Um, so you don't necessarily want it in your vegetable garden, especially your annual. It's a perennial. It comes back every year. Um, and it, 
even if you cut it back. You can cut it all the way to the ground. In fact, after um, our first hard frost, I will be mowing out my entire mince bed in the front yard and in the backyard so that it will have vigor when it grows in the spring. Um, you take your water bottle and you just fill the bottom part of it with your mint and you can do this with basil or thyme or whatever herb you want. It actually is kind of cool. And you just uh, put water in it and you have infusion. You don't even have to heat the water. How hot your water gets affects the of your mint or your herbs that you're using. Um, you want to boil your water and then pour it over your herbs to get the best benefit and let it sit for like five ten minutes so that the essential oils in those leaves can come out and be into your drink now this is not saying use essential oils to drink that's not what I'm saying because essential oils actually are what come from the plant the little bottle of essential oil if you buy a little bottle of essential oil and it's peppermint that stuff is extremely extremely condensed and distilled and you don't really want to take that internally unless you have specific guidelines from a, a professional herbalist um, generally speaking internal medicine unless you know exactly what you're doing with essential oils I really strongly suggest that you just um, use them topically by the way if you like this video and what you're learning or you think that somebody else might be interested in it like share comment give me some suggestions this is actually going to be one of my very first videos I post oh, I went ahead and just tossed the rest of them in here um, so I'm going to put the top on here now I want to make sure that I don't have stems hanging out anywhere They're on the side make sure everybody's inside and I think we are Oops. Second shelf. I kind of got lazy at the end and just put the mints in. Okay, so we have a nice, actually, that held a lot more than I expected. Um, it did pretty good. Now let's see if it dries well. Um, with your herbs, if you have uh, a dehydrator that has. Um, a thermostat, your herbs are wanting to be dried at a lower rate than anything else. They don't like high temperatures. The time of truth. You ready, guys? It's quiet, not loud at all, and I will be checking it in four. Since it's at four to eight hours, I'll be checking in four hours to see if my leaves are dry. You want to dry your leaves completely. Um, you don't want to leave any moisture because if you leave moisture then you have molding. So, and if you can, put it, store it in a vacuum sealed container. Okay guys, I was just checking to see how hot it is because I know with herbs you don't want to heat them too far. But it really, it's a warming heat. warm dry heat coming off and it throws the fan around here and I can feel like a little air flow. So um, my herbs should be good. Hey guys, it's about an hour later and I'm just going to lift this up and look inside. We can look inside and see. Um, they are drying out a little bit. They're not as fluffy and gorgeous as they were. The leaves aren't as green. They're kind of browning a little bit. And one thing about this clear plastic is you can kind of see right inside and see what you've got going on. Um, 
this might change the effect of everything, but I'm going to go ahead and take this off and fill and see. They are still wet, but they're drying out, you can tell. And that's only an hour later. So um, I'm going to set my timer for two hours and come back and check them then. Hey guys, um, I emptied my trays and this is how much tea I've got. Um, it's about three and a half hours later and I came in and the trays, everything looked nice and dry and you saw the leaves before. Um, this is what they look like now. They're just little, it's like a whole plate full of tea. So this is my mint. I'm going to take this mint and put it in a mason jar with a lid and um, use it up. Um, I will attempt to uh, put a link to both the Schiffman, which actually worked really well. It's only a $37-ish um, dryer. It's a cheaper dryer, but it works and uh, they don't look over dry. I was concerned that they would be like cooked, but they're just nice and crispy. And that's one thing you want is you want your leaves to be crispy. You don't want any moisture left in them because if you have moisture in them, they're not going to hold as well. So um, this is a decent sized plate. This is my hand. Um, that we went from that big bowl to this, but this is a decent amount. So. I'm very pleased and uh, there is other ways to dry mint that maybe we'll discuss on a later video. Okay guys, well thank you for coming with me today as I harvested some of my mint, dehydrated it and propagated some more. Um, hopefully you'll join me again and uh, share, like, subscribe, all those good things. Um, let me know what you think. This is my very first video that I'm going to post and hopefully I didn't mess up too much. Please let me know how you liked it and uh, share, like, and subscribe.